There is a growing push on Capitol Hill for ethics reform within the Supreme Court. Some are even suggesting the high court adopt a new code of ethics with outside oversight and enforcement. It follows recent ethical questions raised by Justice Clarence Thomas's failure to disclose high-cost gifts and luxury travel on his financial reports. For more, let's bring in John Martin. He is a retired judge of the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York. Uh, welcome. Thanks very much, Judge Martin, for joining us. In recent weeks, it's been interesting to watch. Retired federal judge Michael Ludig has weighed in on this issue of ethics reform in the nation's highest court. What is he saying? And Ludig, as you know, is a prominent conservative voice. How much weight does his voice carry? Well, Judge Ludig is a very prominent judge, former judge. And his position is that the Supreme Court justices should be governed by the same rules of ethics that apply to all other federal judges. I happen to be one of many people who disagree with him on that because the Supreme Court is not any other federal court. It only has nine justices. And any time one of them steps aside, uh, you risk having a ruling that is uh, by divided 4-4, so you do not get an important constitutional issue to, to decide it. Well, the Judicial Conference is defending its decision back in 2011 not to refer Justice Thomas to the Justice Department, despite allegations of a pattern of nondisclosure. Why would they do that, and how could this impact reform efforts? Well, I think the, the Judicial Conference obviously made its own investigation, found out that uh, there was not enough reason to refer it elsewhere. And frankly, I don't think you want Supreme Court justices regularly uh, referred to uh, the Justice Department unless there is a substantial basis to proceed. So what is your sense of this issue? You know, we're seeing this push for reform when it comes to the Supreme Court. How realistic do you think it is that that will actually happen? I would hope that it would happen in the Supreme Court itself. It seems to me the Supreme Court should adopt uh, a procedure that says uh, any time a sitting justice might have to consider stepping aside because of an ethical issue, uh, that matter should be presented by that justice to the entire Supreme Court, and that they, the Supreme Court will then vote on it uh, to determine whether or not the justice should step aside. Uh, and that all those matters should be publicly reported. Uh, there's a, a saying that you know, when newspapers have that uh, democracy dies in, 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 in uh, hiding. Uh, I think trust dies in hiding as well. Uh, if all of this is disclosed, then there's greater confidence in the integrity uh, of the court. How much do you think uh, that may factor in to the justice's own decision? I mean, do you think that the Supreme Court members can police themselves effectively? They have to, uh, because you don't want rules set up that then could be used to target justices to disqualify them in cases. Uh, a, a, an ethical rule that said if a, uh, the spouse of a uh, justice earns any income from any law firm uh, that the, uh, the judge is disqualified, uh, that would take Justice Roberts out of a lot of cases uh, because of his wife's business. Uh, we should start with a, a confirmation process that ensures the integrity of the people appointed to the court. That's, you know, it's the integrity that is the real safety valve here. All right, retired federal judge John Martin. Judge Martin, thanks very much for joining us. Happy to be here, thanks.